how right. the hell so, did you get on Britain's Got Talent? Like, so this is the truth, but there's dispute because Laggy doesn't think. Oh, I think this no is no dispute. This geezer can't remember what he had for Watch breakfast. Watch out, the mirror, the sun, and the, the yeah. dispute no, against he can't remember. Oh, we can't remember. I what will he had give for you dinner. my version, and he can add it what he wants. But I think this is what happened. I'm pretty sure, but he he has a funny thing of convincing me he doesn't. So we're sitting there watching telly. Advert comes up for Britain's Got Talent. That definitely happened. That definitely happened. And I said to my wife, wouldn't it be funny if I did Stavros Vladilobodos again? And I can't remember what she said, but I tell everyone she said, yeah, as if you're going to do that. But I can't remember. Then Laggy said, in my version, Dad, I'll do it with you. And I immediately thought of Signature. Signature was an Indian guy you coming out doing Michael Jackson. With the broom. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seek, Seek. Seek, uh, he's the first broom. with a broom. So I immediately thought, okay, it's a surprise because I'll run out, then my son will run out. I thought of that. But then I went, Lags, it's impossible you're going to know how to do this because the gag isn't you being funny. The gag, the real complex fucking thing of the, the gag. The underlying humour. The underlying humour is... You have to believe, even though you're a little short fat geezer, you have to believe you are fucking amazing and you are good looking. I showed you Michael Flatley, innit? Yeah. So his you thing have is to like believe that. Six pack, like good yeah. hair. If you, the audience, think you're making, taking the piss or making that up, they will think, oh, it's not funny. Then if believe you believe it. it and you fucking go for it and you show that, look at the fucking look at me, like that. That's funny because they won't think, oh, fucking hell, he really does believe he's a fucking mm. Michael Flatley. Anyway, we went in the other room. I put Michael Flatley on. I said, if you could do one fucking bit of that, then we're, I'll do it with you. Otherwise, I'm not doing it. Anyway. And how old was you? 12. Was 12. 12. Well before 12. Yeah, no, it was 12 because I turned no, 13. 12, sorry, well before 13. I yeah. turned 13 because on the semi final of Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, That's so we did it. 13. It was quite long so before. So you put it on. So it was right into 12. Put it on. And bless him, he fucking did it. And this this geezer had never been to stage school, never once inkling that I I would have said, Do you know what? That he's been grown up watching you perform. No, only till four. This is what yeah, I'm saying. Bro, like, After he didn't four have years the restaurant. Old, he sold, I sold the restaurant. The restaurant. When I was four I'd done five. it ten years before that. Yeah. So I had so, I had I, like what I can remember is like a year. Maybe I can remember four or five times in in the in the palace in used to North love London. He used to call the Greek dancers pirates. That's yeah, how yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. young he was. You know with the Vraja and all that. Yeah. <laughs> so he used to think they were pirates. That's how young he was. And then I sold the restaurant. So we we took it a fucking long time. So you sold it at four. four never did Stavros 12. again. And then never was, did Stavros Vladi Lobodos again. Ever. And then you Until saw Brent's got talent. I saw Brent's got talent. I said it to the wife as a joke. Wouldn't it be funny if I did that? That's mm. mad. I never knew it was a 10-year yeah, gap. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then, that's why I'm saying Ellie had been stage school. Yeah, my sister, tap dance, things, ballet, not stage drama, school, acting, drama. Like, all of that. And singing. it was always Ellie. I thought, my God, she's such a fuck. She's the one that <coughs> took after me. She's the one that loves the stage. She loves the... the um, I was really... Bro, I was really... One thinking. minute, Karen had been... Karen had been, yeah, my, my wife mom, had been yeah. to, uh, to... What's that school in London? The uh, really... Yeah, the Tally really, Conti. Yeah. She'd done theatre shows when she was a kid. She did Oliver Twist. All of that. Me, nothing. Laggy, nothing. Ellie, we put her in everything. And bearing in mind, bearing in mind, I was a quiet kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, really quiet. Like, I... I, I I, I watched TV and, like, I played a bit of football. That was it. No, Quiet. yeah. Play football. So shit. You came I was out. shit at football, but I played. Yeah. You came out, you'd done it, you smashed it. Oh, uh, there was a long time before we said we weren't going to do it yeah. because they changed the venue from London to so Birmingham. So, basically, when you apply for Britain's Got Talent, yeah, you go online or, you know, it's like, apply now for Britain's Got Talent, yeah? So, you apply it and then you'll pick your area and it will say, right, so you've got Hammersmith Apollo or you've got the Birmingham NEC. Or no, got... no, 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 no. Totally, you've got sorry, it. no, no, yeah. you do. You're sorry, yeah. So you go to somewhere in London. There's a there's a bit before. So you yeah. go to somewhere where there's you there's loads of people waiting, thousands. thousands of people waiting, and you wait your turn, and then you go into a room, probably three, four times the size of this, yeah. and you're in front of a producer and a cameraman. That's, That's it. it. Nothing else. And you're lucky if you finish your act, because normally most people go in thirty seconds. They're like, okay, thank you, and that's it, done. So my my quick thing on that is. We'd done that. I went to my Yaya's house, or staying at my Yaya's house, and my dad rang Yaya 
And yeah, I said, lad, dad won't speak to you. I spoke to him, he's like, I've applied for Britain's Got Talent. I said, why? He was like, we're going to do Stavros. I said, oh, okay. So we went back to, like now, from that point to when we went to do the first audition, there must have been three, four months. Yeah, because must we practiced. Have been. We practiced, yeah. Bear in mind, we'd never done this. We practiced in a living room, yeah. probably the size of this room, like just running around the living room. And my but mom, don't forget, that was all me at that point, that point, was all me teaching him. But he, he can't count music. No. Like, you know, one, two, three. He can't do that. He cannot do that. My mum's the one that done that. And my mum would be like, like, you know, the typical stage mum where she'd be like, you missed your beat, you missed your count. And he'd be like, Karen, for fuck's sake, like, it doesn't matter. She's yeah. like, no, it matters. It it's matters. weird how, like, she went to all these schools and it all helped. Yeah, yeah, like, end, helped you know? her create, helped yeah. find it. Like, yeah, fine-tuning. Fine-tune yeah. it. So, anyway, do you want me to tell True. the next yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then... What I remember is they changed our thing, said, look, in London, it's full up. Can't go to London. However, if you want to go Birmingham, you can go Birmingham. But they wanted you to go because you was in the room. No, 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 no. no, no, no. This, this is for this, this bro. Oh, okay. So this. they give you, if, if it's closed, they give you an option of the next closest open one. So you, then they've given you an option for Birmingham to go into this room. Room with the producer, the, camera and the producer. And that was okay. it. So dad's saying to Mick, because Mick was there. Dad yeah. was like, oh, fucking hell, Mick, man. Like, it's a bit far. I'm not I going. Think... Birmingham's too it's far. It's too far. Bearing in mind. Fucking, I won't get in the car for yeah, more We half. only drove to, like, Great Yarmouth, <laughs> like, which was two hours. And it was like, oh, God, like, yeah. this is far. So we got Mick. Mick was like, listen, fuck it. It'll be a good day. Yeah, I don't remember I'll much, drive. But... I'll drive. We'll go. And Mick, I don't want to fucking be in a car for two hours. No, come on. We'll be a laugh. He... Thought we haven't got hope in hell. <laughs> he chance. just went to go to take the piss. He that was told it. me after that he thought you lot have got fucking hope in hell. Right? We get in the fucking car, we get on the motorway, get to about fucking 20 minutes, stop at a service station, and he starts fucking, everyone's there. You see him Bro, all, in all the service stations. You're driving station. up the motorway, yeah. and we stop two, three times, yeah. and every single time, McDonald's, Burger King, Mark Suspense, you see like girls with. Makeup yeah, and, yeah. and like all the way along, and you know where they're going, like you know where they're going. So like they're, they're all going to everyone's going to audition. this place. Yeah. But we're talking fucking thousands of people. Yeah. It's crazy. Thousands. Don't we you get... think it's mad how there were so many and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But so we get into this fucking NEC and we queue up, we give our name, get a number, and then we go into a room and there was this juggler. And Mick thought it was the funniest thing ever. It was this juggler that kept dropping everything. Yeah. And Mick <laughs> juggler that could fucking... But was that the guy? He, he came no, over no. to him and he went, you're a fucking genius. He went, what? He went, genius, dropping it all. He goes, no, I'm not meant to be dropping yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was <laughs> like, no, I'm <laughs> fucking out. And, like, and Mick was like, oh, shit. shit sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. And then there was this other geezer. I'll never forget this. Like, so blatant. I could always tell a bullshit merch. Always. <clears> I had this knack. And this geezer is standing in this room with headphones, like headphones. He's got headphones in, and yeah? And he's got his phone, he's going. And Bo, like, listen, he stood yeah. facing, facing the corner, the wall. like, of the room, yeah? Facing the wall. And he's going, and he's singing, mm -hmm. right? And he's, I can't do the phone. No, no, but like... And he's, and he's getting louder really? and louder and louder to the point where the whole room shuts up. Now, he knew, this fucker knew what he was doing. And he turned around and he went, and everyone just went... And he went, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you. Oh, I didn't know, you, I didn't know, I didn't know. Like, you know. Yeah, I didn't know, you oh, no, all no. listening. Yeah. You fucking did stupid, did screaming, screaming, did screaming in the fucking corner. Cool did he get on? Uh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't even get on. He didn't even get on. I was like, you fucking wankers, if you didn't know. That, 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 I love that shit. So you went into so, so so we, we so we travelled all the way to Birmingham, right? Because obviously London was thing, whatever. So we're in Birmingham now. Four, bro, four hours, five hours of waiting, minimum. And he's not good at waiting. Like, it's, it's, it's not only because of Mick. That the only reason, yeah, the only reason. Mick made it all right. Mick, we were joking like, we around and Joe's, fucking laughing. It was great. Had some food, went and got food, KFC or whatever. Mm. Like, it was good. So eventually you get your sticker. So you're waiting. Eventually they'll call your name and then you'll go in the room and you'll start your... Like your little yeah, interview. You go, yeah, he says, who are you? Yeah, like a little in a quick thing. Yeah, who are you? What are us? you doing? Yeah. Yeah. So then he would say, well, who are you? And we said, who are you? He said, what are you doing? And basically dad was like, it's really hard to explain what we're doing. So because I wanted to show, say to him, look, we have to leave yeah. and come back. So I, and then he was like, "You can't do that." Yeah. And then he he was dad was like, "Listen, we, we have to because it doesn't make sense." He was like, "Okay, do what you want to do." So we went out of the room. He pressed play, and we went in in our normal clothes. Yeah. We went in first in our normal clothes, right? 
So then we come running in. Did you get what? You got changed quick? Well, yeah, yeah, it's took two off, off, like whatever. Yeah. So. so then the music started. Dad's burst through the door flying in. And I could, I'm looking through the window in the door. Yeah. Checking like, the guy's face. Bro, no, no, no. no, no he even needs to know I don't cue. know the time. I don't oh. know. I don't listen to the music because I know he doesn't listen to music. <laughs> I watch what he's doing to know when to run in. So when he comes down. So like when so every time is yeah. different. Every time. You have to understand there's no, for me. And me, I make up. I make up time. So if I know he's gone too early, I'll yep. do a few more moves. So I know in my head where we are to, to when we do the thing together. So it's roughly the right time, <laughs> yeah. basically. So, so you're we're looking through? I'm looking through the window and the geezer stopped the music. Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, See, he doesn't remember shit Fuck like this. We was looking through the window and like I said to you, they give you 30 seconds, bro. And they, if they like you, they let you through. The guy stopped the music. And he said, oh, you're no, no, no. My dad was like, no, no, you, you, you haven't seen it yet. Like, so we start, do you not remember? We started again. No. So Fucking blur. dad was, and the guy was like, okay, sorry. Like whatever, start again. So dad's come out fuming. You're pissed off. At, he was really pissed off at this point. Cause he's like, you don't understand. Bearing in mind, back you've in the been, restaurant. No, but plus you've been waiting for how long to no, get yeah, in. Yeah, no, 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 you don't understand just, what he's like. It's, but it's, when it's, things went wrong in the restaurant, the music car, he'd yeah. come back and he'd smash chairs like, fuck, like outside, Gordon Ramsay. Outside, outside, outside the back, not yeah. in the restaurant. Not in the restaurant. Outside he'd go outside the back, the back in the I would have boxes and boxes of empty bottles yeah. so I could smash the smash fuck out of stuff. Like to get That's where my where one issue is I'm no good at heckling and I'm no good at things going wrong. So I go away, smash a few shit and then come back. So anyway... He's come out the door. Fuck, fuck, mix, mix there, like oh, whatever. So they've started. Your dad's running, and then now I can. Now I'm looking at their face, and they're going like like this now, like because they've seen it once. So like the fucking things obviously gone. Like the yeah. the initial bang has gone. So they're looking, they're looking, they're looking, and then I've run in the door, right? As I've run in the door. They've laughed, and then you remember the producer. This guy, we didn't know the producer. We had. We're top. talking like Simon's right hand. Yeah. Yeah. Top. Like, like it, you go Simon, then him. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, it was just like, it. we didn't plan it like that. Nope. It was just. And there's loads it, of other producers yeah. in we're other talking, rooms. There's, there's 50, 100 rooms of different producers. And this one guy was the guy, right? So I've run in and we're dancing and his face is like, he's like, like, he's like this, like looking. He's not, the cameraman's laughing. He's sort of like, you can see his brains yeah. going like. There's something here. Bravo. So we finish. And then he goes. Who are you to him? Who are you to him? To, to, yeah. to him. He went to him. He went, who are you to him? And then, and I, and then went, you said. My, yeah. He, I said, I that's, said my... that's. No, I said. Yeah, he said to me, who are you to him? I said, that's my dad. Yeah. Bro. That's what he his face looked As up. soon as I said that, it's like, can you wait? Can you just wait? Can you wait for a minute? Can you wait for a minute? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He went and got. Is, did we do it again? No, he did a camera. He got camera crew. Whole ca now it's fucking, a whole camera crew. Now they start. Whole, so we you know, went the, you know, Britain's Got Talent. You know, like you when it, if you ever watch our first act, it's like, yeah, I'm laggy. You know, when I used to watch my dad all in the of restaurant. that is Birmingham. That's after we've danced. Just danced. So, so we that's just waited all Birmingham. for Birmingham. Yeah, we just waited four Pretend and a half hours. Pretend like you haven't been on yet. Yeah. Now we waited four and a half hours. We're fucked. But yeah. you knew you was in. But like, no, we didn't. We, no, and we've you never can done see it, Mick in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put up a video. We'll do it with um, Santo. Santo, yeah. Professor X, my Professor little X. fucking munchkin man over there. <laughs> we can do that video, and yeah. you can put an arrow. I'll and say, that's, little, Mick, that's Mick, right? Because we made sure at that point it was fun. Like, Mick's gonna get on camera. Mick's gonna. He would, he would done anything to be on telly. Yeah, yeah. So at that point, we're pretending like we haven't been on yet. Yeah. And then they tell you later when you go to the audition. Please wear the same clothes you wore. Yeah, you have to wear thing. the same clothes as that so day. So we can so they mash can it get... up and it all locks what's like it called? the same What's day. it called? B-roll? Uh, B B-roll, No. B-roll, uh, isn't it? Uh, no, the continu continuity. 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 But like B-roll is like before, before, you know all the bits before of you going no, on stage. No, B-roll just extra bits <coughs> yeah. to, to put on the video. Yeah, bravo. So that's why they said to wear the same clothes wear to same. add little bits no, yeah. in. Yeah. Continuity. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks. Yo, yeah, fucking. High five, baby. Yeah, don't worry, you could suck your cock and stand up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. It had to come to that, didn't it? Oh, yeah. It's gone down again. <laughs> it's like fucking run no, again. It's, 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 like, it's, like, it's like really good <laughs> shit then. <laughs> fucking how, how, how am I the sensible one to say, Bruh, come on? I have no, no idea. idea. <laughs> he's been in 10 minutes and he's already on his fucking side. We're 
like fucking family now, bro. What the fuck's going on, for fuck's sake? So, anyway. Well, I mean, continuity. Continuity. You, they called you. You had to go back onto your first... This is at the Hammersmith Apollo. Yeah. This yeah. is at first the Hammersmith Apollo. Ed edition. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, the point, the point that I knew, or I was like, fuck. Thanks, yeah. Something, we've done something, yeah. At the front of the Hammersmith Apollo, yes. there's all these people lining oh, up. Fucking, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, of course I remember that. All these I remember people that bit. lining up to yes. go in. And you hear over he the radio. Said, he said to us, when you get there, yeah. call us. Call us. As soon as you get there, call us. So we've got there. He's called us. He's like, we're like, oh, we're going to park up. He's like, no, 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 no. Come here. So we've driven past the Hammersmith and there's like a private car park for like, we're talking like runners and producers. They were, we've parked in that car park. The geezers come and got us, <laughs> took us through the back entrance of the Hammersmith Apollo, gone into the back. And and this is past, bypassed all the people waiting to go on and all the little bullshit acts they get for people to laugh at and whatever. Like, do you know what I mean? That's what it is. That's the, the truth of it. So, we've gone backstage and they told us, oh, it'll be 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 no, minutes. No, you're missing one what, little bit. What bit? So, they said they wanted to do some filming. This is where I thought you'd remembered. They said, we want to do some filming in front of the Apollo, we want to do some filming. And they kept saying, I kept on hearing the geezer say, make sure you get Stavros in, make sure you get Stavros in. Every time the Every camera time went... they're thinking. Now, at that point, I thought, this is all fixed. This is... Someone's what? Oh. I'm sorry, but the show that I've been watching, everyone knows if they like us and they're saying all this, we're getting through. And I thought that. Then they put us in the room. They they tell us you're ready to go on stage. And oh, sorry. Before this, they said to me, "Can you can you bring a few people?" And I said, "Yeah." And I said, "How many?" Oh, well, three or four. I said, "Okay." I had agreed with four people, my wife, my daughter, someone else and someone else. I, Mick, I think it was Mick. Gemma. Gemma, Gemma and, and somebody yeah. else. Mick, yeah. And we have four people. I said, yeah, no problem. 20 minutes before we go on, can you get 30 people to come? Are you fucking feeling <laughs> Bro, wrong? Central London. He said 30. He didn't say Three. 10, <laughs> fucking 8, <laughs> whatever. He said 30. And I just went, fuck, you know what? I can I closed the company. He closed the business. They closed the, the electrical fucking, business. No, no, they just closed. Oh, your yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they were t 15 minutes away and they came bowling in and there was 30 fucking people there. And, and they I filled. Swear to God, and if it was you like look when we go on stage. Kismet, you, you couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you look when we go on go stage, stage, there's all a the point. Two rows. There's a point where the camera pans up to like the people sitting there, yeah. mum's there. Yeah. That and fucking Ellie, hot and, and my Ellie sister. There, yeah. Yeah. That whole fucking row of people. Two rows of people. That was it. And then, so we're just about ready. Nervous as fuck. He couldn't give a shit. Doesn't care. Like, not doesn't care. That's a bad way to say it, but just nonchalant, not, like. nonchalant about it. Sitting on this thing. Geezer comes over and we still see this geezer every time we go to Britain's Got He Talent. start when we went, just the background, when we went, he was a runner. Yeah, he was a runner. Now, producer. Quite high. Like, he's, he's up He's there, got his right? radio. He goes, uh, Stavros, uh, can you get ready, please? And I went... Yeah, yeah, we're ready. He goes, no, 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 get changed in your, get changed in your costumes. And I went, no. I said, if we get changed in the costumes, game's up. He went, no, 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 that's not what I'm getting. He says, uh, yeah, 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 it's, they're saying get changed, they're saying get changed. And I went, no. I said, you, you don't understand. I said, I'd rather not do it than give the game away. And he went, mate. Calm down. Brother, I was 12. 12. Oh, no, 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 no. Mate, calm down. <laughs> I'll never forget. We'll, we'll be all right. He said it takes us 10 seconds to get changed. Goes back on They don't want to get changed yet. They want to get changed yet. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you go on stage. And I thought, fucking hell. Like, now I know it's not a fix. Because if it was a fix, you would understand the gag is, da-da. Yeah. Not, oh, look, they're dressed up. Oh, imagine yeah, imagine back. if we went on stage with the wig top the off, wig, the yeah. top and off, all the there, games it would up. Be fucking yeah, like, it's the whole point. Is that so? So I thought, shit, maybe it's not. And then I thought, it's not fixed, man. It's, 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 they don't know. Fucking, they're stupid. Yeah. Anyway, done everything, and I'll never forget the the questions. It, all of that is a blur. But how he, if you analyze what he actually said, 
what Laggy said that made everyone laugh about, I'm not obliged to answer that. Yeah, None yeah. of that was planned. None of that. It doesn't and even I make don't, sense. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. sense. <laughs> but I don't do that. I know, if you know me, today I planned on telling that gag at the beginning. We were going to school. That's been in my brain for two weeks. I planned... On, I didn't plan about telling you you're all fucking munchkins in fucking yeah. <laughs> Yellow Brick Road and all that shit. And the, the uh, But I have things in my head and I know I'm going to start with that because I know once I get started, I'm okay. With the, with the talking thing, we had nothing. I didn't think what we were going to say. But every show after that, and I never tell him, I didn't tell him that I was going to mention my dentist. I didn't tell him that I was going to buy my missus a new fridge when we did the current yeah, shows. Yeah. I just have it in my head. I didn't know what we were going to say and he came out with it and it couldn't have been more perfect. Yeah. But, but, here's the big but. Cut to the very that was a big, big like, finale. Like factor though, wasn't it? Huh? It was, that was a, a big, big like, like factor yeah, like like for the right. whole audience yeah. to hear that. But come to the end of the the... The whole show, we came third, we're walking, we're, After we're the in final, the party. Yeah. I get a tap on my shoulder and I look around and he goes, you all right, mate, Stavros? And I went, hello, mate. He went, we're the editors. We're the ones that make you look so good. And they do. They fucking edit. And that's why I have a lot of respect for what people do, like what you lot do. They're the guys that make you look good. Or make you look shit. They put it together and they That's and he you, understood. Yeah. Not the show's producers, not the thing, it's the editors that understand, okay, if we make it too long, and they cut the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look, they did certain Our things. Our actual dance was three and a half minutes. But on TV, it was one minute fifty yeah. seconds. Yeah. Like that. But if you go on telly and you're an asshole on one of these programs and you are an asshole. They will realise you're an asshole and they'll fuck you for it. If you go on these programmes and, like Mick told us, yeah. don't, whatever they ask you to do, do it. If don't someone ever... says to you, Mick said, if someone says to you, what do you want on your rider? Oh, I just want a bottle of water. Bottle and, uh, of water. I'm, I'm okay. That's it. Because don't be the pain in the arse. Yeah. And we've always you're lived most by... show up with nice stuff anyway. Yeah, like, but, were... but like, don't... Some don't... people did. Some yeah. people did, but some people did turn up with two bottles of water and we thought, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 <What's laughs> the fucking, <laughs> fucking sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, we, we always were... Dad, take your shoes. We your always realised that we were the guys... We know where we are. We understand who we are. And we know we're not big fucking superstars. What happens is when you meet people, they remember that one moment. Never you said this, you said this. Remember, you said when you meet people, because you know he meets people. He was driving the other day and there was a geezer on the scaffold company. And he went, he went, yeah, that's it, like the guy. And he went, no, are you okay? He went, oh, I might use some scaffold. And he went, for what? He went, for my car. Like, you know, <laughs> and I was on the phone. I was like, why the fuck are you telling me? And then he said, yeah, but like you have to make, I want, when I meet people, I want to make them laugh. Yeah. And I said, if you put scaffold from him, I will fucking run down the road naked. Like, you know? well, well, someone said that that you will forget that you met them, but they'll never forget that they met you. I met so someone, always make that. I met. I won't name a name, yeah, because this geezer. I met someone at the Royal Variety Show, yeah, and I was fourteen years old, bro. Yeah. And I waited for him to rehearse, and I waited for him. And this geezer is massive, yeah. We're talking in the legends of legend, huge, legend. like massive. And I waited there with my picture and, and he was rehearsing and I waited there and waited there for about 25 minutes. And, and Not for him, actually. Not, you not, waited there for, me. for... I waited there for my ER to get a signed... This is how big this guy was yeah. for my ER to get a signed autograph. And I waited and waited and waited and he'd come off from his, from his rehearsal and I said, Mr, can, can you please sign this? And that prick went, not now, kid, I'm busy and fucked off, Yeah. And I will never forget that for the rest not of that, my life. Not that it, he will ever make a difference to no, this person. No, not at all. But I always said, we always said that that's their big moment. And they might be, how do you put this? They might not know how to act because we we would have met millions of people, right? Mm -hmm. Thousands, oh, not millions, thousands and thousands of people. And out of those thousands of people, they're excited and some of them, will grab him and like you're thinking he's fucking 14. Bro, and they'll I remember pull him we, here. I'll be like, we was out oh, for dinner oh. 
And I'll, be, I'll just, I'll, we've just danced an hour show yeah, yeah. and I'll go to eat and some geezer will be like, come here, mate. Yeah. And I'll be like, Fuck. And, and it happens. And you, and I always said to him, you've got to forgive them because the they excitement, the of, excitement that they've got in their brain yeah. is, fuck me, it's Stavros Flatley. And at the same time, you guys did put yourselves in that position. 100%. Yeah. 100%. And, and whatever you want to say is you have to forgive them for that one yeah. moment. That's why, just to go to that point, that's why when people say, oh, you have to feel bad for these people, they didn't know. I And I've been no. there. I don't give a fuck. My point of view is, you know what you was doing because with fame comes money. With money comes fame. And with fame becomes yes. comes things that you have to deal with. But yeah? you have to realise it. You have to, you have to realise it in yourself. Don't be a fucking wanker. Don't say stupid shit. If you're going to say your opinion because you're famous, then expect a backlash. Yeah, of course. If you want to laugh, it, like I always said to him, you don't have to, it, that's just your opinion. It, it, in the scheme of shit, in the real scheme of shit, who the fuck are we to give somebody uh, fucking advice on, on world politics and yeah. if somebody wants to do this or somebody wants to do that, that's just your opinion. Stay the fuck away from it. You know it's fucking stupid. Don't say nothing. Because everyone has an opinion and everyone's opinion is not going to be agreed by every fucking one on the planet. But my, my, where I'm more, not proud of it, I don't want to fucking say it all now, get mushy, but where I'm like, I see where he's, what he's done and where he's gone. I'm more proud of him of being that person that, that can analyse and say, I'm more proud of him that he'll come and say, Dad, should I do this? I would rather he did that than fucking do stupid shit and then later on I have to pick up the pieces because we've all done fucking stupid shit. When I was a kid, fucking I've done some really fucking stupid shit. Yeah, we shit. are. So but all of that has come from, from 12 years old to 18, 20, hanging around with fucking older people, okay. adults. And, Bro, you know and obviously I mean? you done some mistakes and you lived and oh, man, learned we've from done, them yeah, 100%. But, but what we haven't done we haven't done is do anything to detriment who we really yeah. are right and that's you have to be careful of that but if everyone can do stupid shit and everyone can make a mistake but to detriment your look at look at look at celebrity big brother you really want to fucking go into it look at celebrity big brother you going on there for money yeah. Pure and simple. Nothing else. I if never, you yeah. think that going on Celebrity Big Brother, you come across as a not as a as a normal person when you're put into a bubble, everything is intense. No one is nice a hundred percent of the time. And and they know, exactly. like he said, how the editors know how to make you look bad if you're a prick. They know what situation to put you in to, to fuck piss you, you off. Yeah. And and that's all it is to fuck you up because there ain't no Nicey, nice. If everyone in Big Brother was fucking nice 100% of the time, nobody would fucking watch it. So they push and push and push, make situations to make fuck up so that been, everyone have watches. Have you been offered to go in? Yeah. But not, no, certain things we did. I did. I, I, the best one we ever, I ever got. Like, I've watched so much television in my life, I know when a stitch up is coming. Oh, bro, you don't. And I got a fucking phone call one time and, I, and they said to me, would you um, come... Uh, my manager rang me and said, you're going to get, uh, you get some money to go and do this thing. I said, oh, what, me and Laggy? He went, no, 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 just you. So I went up there. We was in a room doing makeup. And normally when you finish TV, they give you the contract. You sign it. It's, a, it's one pound. Release form. Release, release form. form. And you have to sign it to say you can show what it's I've your, just done your on TV. It's your giving your likeness and all that. Like. Yeah. NDA, so, isn't it? NDA. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, not release NDA. form. It release is a release form. form. Yeah. Anyway, he comes in with a release form before I'd done it. And I thought, that's a fucking bit unusual. Didn't think nothing of it. Then the makeup lady was asking me so many questions. How's your son? Okay, this is like good, like normal, but a little bit over the top. Then they wouldn't tell me, oh, the producer's going to come talk to you. Didn't tell me what it was. Then I got into this fucking room, all curtains everywhere. And there's this white sheet with a split down the middle. And the producer says, nice to meet you, Stavros. I went, all right, mate. And he goes, um, we want you to put this hat on and it's got a licorice all salt. You know what licorice all salt mm -hmm. is? It's a sweet, it's a hat 
licorice all sort who want you to open the the put curtain, your head, put your head through and say sugar is good. And I went, uh, right, well, what's this for? He said, well, we're doing this like fucking documentary series about what. I said, okay, but uh, straight away in my head comes this stitch up program that they used to do where they got everybody, these big celebrities, they paid them a amount of money. Remember they had hidden cameras and they eat that? But they get this, they did this thing where they gave them a massive tablet, looked like an, a, a paracetamol, round one, and told them that this was the new drug that people were taking, this actual fucking tablet, this big. And I knew it was a stitch up. So I, I pulled my head out of the curtain, got my phone down, ring my manager. He goes, ready, Stavros? I said, just one sec, just one sec. I ring my manager, he said, who gave you this job? Who gave me this job? He goes, well, it's a film company, TV company. I said, nah, nah, something not right. He goes, well, what are you going to do? I said, I'm fucking walking out. And he goes, Stavros, you ready? You ready? Can you say it? I came out of the fucking thing. I got a licorice all sort of my head. <laughs> and I went, can I have my release form back? And he went, what? I said, can I have my release form back? And he went, no, 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 you've signed it. We, we just, what's, what's the problem? I said, I'm not stupid, mate. With a fucking licorice all sort of my fucking head. He stood there with his hat on. <laughs> Forget <laughs> to take this. I'm not, went, stupid, I'm not yeah. fucking stupid, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking licorice all. I went, give him my release form. And he went, mate, he said, there's nothing wrong. And the, the makeup artist there, cameraman's there, producer's there, thing is there. And he's gone, no, 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 nothing's wrong. I said, yeah, I'm not a cunt. I said, give me my fucking release form. Please, I'm leaving. And he went, well, you can't leave. You've signed it now. You've got to do it. I said, no, I fucking ain't. And I... I this is the side of dad. Yeah. yeah. Then I turned. And, and I, I'm not proud of it, but I turned bad because I was worried. We are a wholesome father and son. I was They're 12, trying to I was do again, something 14, to me. I was 14, 13, yeah. so it's still like... They're trying to do something to me. I know they are. Trying to fuck me up. Make me look like a cunt, like someone who will do anything for money... Doesn't matter what it is. Don't read it first. And I went, give me my fucking release form or I'm going to smash every fucking canal. <laughs> it was like, do you remember airplanes, planes, trains and automobiles? Yeah. You ever yeah. seen that? Where he goes into the ring and he's like, I've been waiting this fucking rental car for fucking ages. <laughs> every word was, give me my fucking release form or I'll fucking break it. <laughs> fucking so camera in this beefy. fucking <laughs> place. And he went... You're not. I said, oh, I fucking am. I said, I'm going to start with you, you cunt. <laughs> and they just weren't like pointing at me with the camera. I said, your camera's going first. He went, all right, all right, calm down. I went, give him my fucking... Forgetting I had this <laughs> fucking <laughs> little shorts on my head. Right? Got my release form. Scrumped it up. That's it. They can't use it. So now you've got Stavros well, Flatley with a licorice or salt on his head. Shouting at camera, yeah, but I'm, you can't use the first fucking First one I'm starting with is you, you cunt, like that. But you can't use you the can't footage can't anyway. use it. Right. It, 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 you won't. Got home, yeah. fucking went away. We came to Cyprus for a holiday. Get a phone call. Damn, 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 you need to get a newspaper, son. I went, what? He went, you need to get the sun newspaper. I went, what the fuck? I said, what's in there now? It's been a while. Went and think, opened the page. Stavros Flatley was an angry licorice all sort. <laughs> <laughs> and this new and program. It was a program <laughs> yeah. that had all these celebrities talking Getting about sweets up. and that. But not just that, they did um, Wagner. They told Wagner there was a tribe from Africa. Do you remember Wagner, the guy in X Factor, the crazy guy with the long hair? No, you don't was, remember he him. He was huge. He was huge. They, he? He, he was meant to go to the zoo. And there was this tribe from Africa that had never spoken English. It was bullshit. It was just people dressed up in, and yeah. they were coming up and going, ooh, and he was going, I talk to you, I talk to you. <laughs> They'd done him, but they didn't do me. But they managed to put it in the paper to promote the programme mm. that Stavros Flatley was an angry Christian. I've got the paper clip. Yeah, he's I'll, got I'll, everything. We'll put it up. He's got I'll, I'll, sh I'll send can you a picture. Put it up? Yeah, yeah of course you can. Stavros <laughs> Flatley was a. <laughs> they didn't come after me. Yeah. It was, <laughs> but if they. I wish now that somebody had that on camera and they used it because it was the funniest Be thing. Be careful what you say because someone might actually post it now. Do we care? You can't. They can't. They but can't post it. No, those, they were, it was just them in the room. Yeah, yeah they're not allowed with their to. Camera. They no, he just said, doesn't matter, bro. A form with he? a signature yeah. is Oh, what well, if I said, yeah, fucking hell, it was seven, yeah, eight years Yeah, fucking do it, bro. Do it now. Yeah, It'd be hilarious. It, brilliant. <laughs> with, a, with a fucking licorice all sort hat and I kept forgetting to take the fucking down the head. A question. Go for it. Um, <laughs> so we move it on because <laughs> yeah. I've still got many. Oh shit! I do. I did want to ask what the limelight was like and how did it, how it affected your family life. 
Because uh, when I, know. I, I, I don't know, like, as, do you want me, do you want me to what say? What I remember from the wedding is you go. You remember, you keep saying. I remember you guys, you know, sleeping in the car. It's not all luxury. No, and, no, no. You know. Far from it. People think it's like. Listen, and listen, let luxury. me tell you something, hey, yeah? It is. Oh, some. It is, it is, it is. Like the caravans were brilliant. Do you know, like yeah. some of the gold standard caravans. Oh, yeah, I love yeah. the caravans. Yeah, they were good. Me, platinum yeah. as well. The holiday parks, everything, but. A fight people to forget the tide. <laughs> <laughs> people forget the tiredness, the, the thing, but, but who wants you to fucking complain? Who the fuck are you when someone is getting up every day to go for work? To dig roads. To dig fucking like, roads, yeah. pick up fucking shit, do this, do that. Who the fuck are you to complain? That's why I never, ever told anyone until we were at a wedding and I, and I was telling him that I understand yeah. it wasn't all sweetness and roses. And he knew. Well, let me tell you something now. That I'll was say, a very touching. I'll say that now. I've said it to you. The shit. I know he says I'll never complain. But, bro, I was... When it got to like between oh, seven, you mean complaining, yeah, yeah, you I complained, complained like fuck because you yeah. was a kid, yeah. But, but I like, expected that. But, but not... when it got to seven, when I got to yeah. seventeen and between seventeen and sixteen and eighteen, obviously the hormones. But don't the forget, puberty, yeah, he's, like, he's like what, he's going he through. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> you, were, you, you forgot about that being yeah. thirty-seven. You <laughs> fucking, <old man. laughs> fucking, that was a while ago. For All you. right, let's go back to you. But people, people forget. I'm going through with him. All the stages where the rebellious, the I know it all, the thingy, well, the all the arguments that stage in the car, the arguments, you know, like yeah. it got, like it, it got bad arguments. sometimes when we wouldn't talk. But then no one knows that shit. No, but I'm telling honestly. But let me it's, tell it's you one life. thing. Let it's me tell you life. one thing. And he he knows, and you fucking don't believe me. Ask my daughter and my wife. Every time he fucks up and he does something. Yeah, and it's not bad. Never been bad. Thank God he ain't fucking murdered anyone or anything. But when he's done some fuck up, my wife will go, "Why haven't I mean, you told him off?" And I go, "Cause I did exactly that <laughs> fucker is me down to a fucking everything he's done. I can't. I can't. Even Ellie, Ellie, the worst thing That's Ellie my did. Sister. Yeah, That's my sister was uh, she was smoking at seventeen, sixteen. <laughs> Oh. And Karen told her, wait till My your dad gets home. My mum come home early and she was in the her. garden and caught her with a cigarette yeah. in her hand. And she said to her, wait till your dad comes home. She panicked. Bro, panicked. hyperventilating. She is hyperventilating. I got home and she went and Karen goes, well, there she is, smoking. What are you going to do? And I went, what the fuck am I going to do? Do you want a fag girls? <laughs> because how the fuck? Can I, a, like he uh, was when a I was a smoker, yeah. saying, Ellie, do you know what? Naughty you, naughty this. And the wor the best thing is, I never say this, but the best feeling in the world is not fear from your kids. It's the fear of disappointing you. Yeah. That's what you want. Not the fear. The fear, anyone can fucking hit a kid and, you know what I mean? That's not what you should be doing is you you don't you want them not to disappoint you and that's what they're fucking scared of the time that he he'll tell you that story one day where they so fucked sure. up they screwed us over he this fucking tosser screwed us over with and why he went in if you told him yeah they know it's on you? fucking well, anyway, line do you know anyway the day that he oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm at work I know he's got out. I I fucking went mental that day trying to find somebody to get because I more panic that he was on his own in a fucking cell. When he you you're gonna have to tell we know, just, they just know. Google like just Google. Google. drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> the day and when I knew that they fucking done him over because he said one wrong word. If he just said this word, it's not it's not my flat. I'm the landlord of the flat. There's mm -hmm. the two fucking things of what he should have done. Anyway, not his fault. And he, he got out of the nick because, and he came home and he's fucking burst into tears. Then my, uh, uh, he said, I'm so scared. You're Bearing in mind, this fucking... whole time this happened, like, you know, he's the only one in my life that I, I don't give a fuck if you like me, if you don't like me. I don't give a shit about anyone's opinion. He's the only one I give a fuck about his opinion on me, yeah? So it's him crying so like and going fucking... I feel like it, that's yeah, the thing, and disappointed. And let him down and let... Both of you down. It's the it's the thing of the disappointment. Yeah. Like yeah. What you so said. there's no need to go here? and fucking. I was eighteen. Right. Yeah, you had a car. Didn't you? Yeah, eighteen. You well, that's, that's, so, that's that's what I'm so more what proud you said, of. Because we 
we digress. Sorry, what you said fame. about the, the, the lime being the limelight. For me, I'll say my point and then he can yeah. say, my point is, yeah, I like money. Yeah? I love, I love money's great. Like, the you know, people that say money don't buy you happiness, it's true, but it fucking helps. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the fact. Of <laughs> Big it. time. It fucking helps. Yeah, it doesn't buy you health, but it fucking helps because God forbid something goes wrong and you need to fly to fucking America to get this special treatment. It helps, bro, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Fame couldn't give a fuck. Yeah, and, and I, well, I, hand, hand to God, I wish he was lying to say to mm. you, ah, don't be silly. He's fucking, it's 100%. Couldn't give he, a shit. He's the one that that I had to say, this is down to you. Do you want to do this route? Do you want to go down this route? Or do you want to go down that route? He, he may have at one point seen, fucking hell, why is it? But he sees what do you know happens when I see to it? Do you know when I see it? When we was on tour and like, People that we were touring, they were like my age, and they were going to like, like clothing companies, and yeah. ha- and everyone was giving them free shit. Yeah. And I was like, why don't I get? Yeah, nothing? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then dad, and not until I was a bit older, dad said, "Lags, why the fuck would a clothing company give a little fat kid <laughs> they, yeah. they clothes to it's wear?" No, it's like, no point. It's and, true. And 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 I always said to him, it, it, like, Jet Mix taught me this: if you fucking good luck to you, good fucking luck for you. I wish you the best because I'm going to spend my energy being jealous of you. When you close your doors at night, and this happens to every fucker, you, whoever you are, whoever you are, if it's not money you're worrying about, it's relationship you're worrying about. If it's not relationship you're worrying about, your health you're worried about. We all have them problems in common. Yeah. So whoever the fuck you are, you may be pissing blood at night, I don't fuck you. I may have 10 million quid, but you're you pissing blood. You would rather be me than me to you. I'm not jealous of no fucker. I swear to God. No one. But good luck to you. And the, the older you get, the more you'll realise. But then you also see, like, we've met some fucking big people. Big yeah. people. A lot of people in this industry, they don't, at some point, they don't give a shit about money anymore. Because they're no. good. They've got but, money. But, but they are fucked along the way. Yeah, they're fucking up. Yeah, they're Drugs fucked along. Yeah, all of that. But relationships I'm saying, it gets to fun. a point where they don't do things for money anymore. No. They do it because they crave that one drug that you can't buy. And that one drug is the feeling of walking out on stage yeah. and people like, oh, it's you. And, yeah. and they, is, as much as they say, I don't want pictures, I don't want pictures. They fucking love it, bruv. Because you would not be 60 years old and fucked and go for next to no money because you've got money and go and do these shows and that because you crave you crave you, the fucking you said fame. it was it you that said it you like why the fuck you've earned all that money why not relax yeah, what the it. fuck yeah. are you doing yeah you you you're killing yourself you're working like a fucking dog I said even if, I, even if I was a football player I'd I'd play football for a year get a couple yeah, of mil and see you later why? But that's why you said that because they crave it. They, they love they it. They crave it. It's the it adrenaline, bro. Yeah. You can't, if someone can bottle that As feeling and sell it, you're over, like, it's, it's, it's mad. Because we're talking about that, a lot of people want to know, what is Simon Cow really like? Is he a Malaga? Is Simon Cow? I want to like- say one thing before we go on to Simon Cow. <laughs> I want to say one thing. Because you, you said about how did it affect your family and stuff like that. This geezer managed to, because we was dancing, yeah. Six days a week, seven yeah. days a week, and yeah. For like a ones. for like a year or two years, yeah. it was every day, bro. Do you know how many people get in this in this industry and divorce? Oh, uh, that that it's yeah. like a ninety five percent. I got accused once, <laughs> once by think, my wife saying fucking, this, and I went, "Are you fucking mad?" Like, well, as if I mean, I could have fucking. Oh. Then she, I never. <laughs> did. He went on this. <laughs> 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 Do you, think, do you think it would have been a problem if he was good looking? <laughs> <laughs> like, Fuck you know. He's coming there. He's getting. I'm joking. Him. Got me. No, no, he gets, <laughs> give me, he gets give me upset, one. Though, give he still me gets one. Upset. All right, Simon Cow, you Malaga. No, 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 no he's no, lovely. No, no, um, no. I, oh, wait, I'll shit. tell you what you right. do. I tell you with Simon Cow, when you meet him, it's the strangest encounter. People say that my dad looked like Simon Cow. Show me. But he. It, what the the thing with Simon is? What the fuck am I going to talk to him about? Am I going to talk to him about the price of fucking sugar? And I'm sh- he don't he's know. He's just he, a nice. It's like what Ricky Gervais? How much is that? Five like hundred euros. Yeah, do you know what I mean? With us, he's always been. But you have to hold. You, you there's two things with Simon. Yeah, if you walk in the room, 
and think you're the bollocks, yeah. he will chop you down yes. so fast. Or just yeah. ignore you. Or just ignore you like yeah. you are not even there. He can read someone. And because of what industry he's in, yeah. he can read someone from one look. He knows what you're about yeah. as soon as he looks at you, yeah? Like with us, bro, he comes up to us and he's like, Stavros, he hugs the us. Best, and, the best like, one, we, we did, a, we did a, a, a slot for comic relief. A little sketch, and he was getting married. It was meant to be he was marrying himself because he loves himself. So he walked in that church, and Bro, there hundreds was of people, celebrities everywhere, everywhere. And the first thing he did was he went Stavros, and I don't know if it's because we were topless, but he went Stavros. Everyone in that room looked at us and thought, "Fucking yeah. hell!" And we're like, "Shit!" Like, do, you know do you know what I think is that maybe because like you're the most realist. No, he of the just. Lot. We never. Tried anything but when we were, yeah, that's what I mean. Him, real down yeah, to earth, and we maybe. always, when he called, we were always there. Bro, and he me, said like, all that. I'm so that was the only thing they cut a lot of what he said. That was, out yeah, of the I don't think that will, will ever be aired. But like on the champions, he, he said for about when he gave us the buzzer, 10 minutes, there was said, a good, not 10 minutes, there was a oh, good four, minutes. four or five minutes of him praising us, bro. Yeah, like it was, it was mad. But the thing is, with him, like what you said. If you're nice, he's amazing. If you're a cock, he's the biggest cock in the room. But you're like, not going to have in, long and conversations. And I don't mean cock like arsehole. No. He's got the biggest <laughs> cock in the room. Like he'll, he'll there's, make no, you know. there's no long, long conversations. It's just, Stavros, how are you? And he's always been lovely. All right. Maybe so I can't not. Say. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. A, no. little, a little bit with the no. eyes. Look at oh. the eyes. Look at the eyes. Do you know what someone said? Actually, there was a question, and someone says, "Are you related to this guy?" One minute, Omid Dajili. No, fucking hell, Omid Dajili looks Marcos my twin. Serfelis. No, no, but Who look the up, fuck look fuck up. Is that? Look up, Omid uh, Dajili. Oh, oh, yeah, Omid, you are him. Yeah, oh, he's not alive. That no. looks evil. Is that the penguin out of fucking Batman? You are the Greek Omar Omid Dajili. Omid. He so actually funny. says it in his act. He said it in times. his act. He said, he said I'm not Guess, fucking Stavros yeah, Flatley. Keep, <laughs> keep people keep thingying him. If one more person says, are you Stavros fucking <laughs> Flatley? Yeah, yeah. Oh, one minute. Here we go. Show me a better picture. You you are. You are the Greek Omar Jalili. Yeah, that's me. I can't even say his name. And I always wanted he's, to know who I wanted to know. He's the funny one like. that done the joke about... Um, he's Iranian. Yeah, he's Iranian. And then he, ah, oh, and he's from the UK, which makes him Ukrainian. Yeah. <laughs> you know who I wanted to? I wanted to be Kojak. Kojak, if I, if I look like anyone, there's a picture, put a picture of, he's got his glasses and a lollipop, man. You're, and not, that geezer, you're not fucking Kojak. Telly Savalas, Kojak was one good looking fucker. He's got a dodgy do little, you actually look like he's got him a dodgy though? little You would like finger. to look he's like him, but do you look like him? No. All right. Thanks. But there's, <laughs> they, they, I, I even, Chill out, he's got a little mole here and he's got his glasses and he's the bollocks. It's a proper, like. But anyway, looking, back to Simon. Bald good looking. Because yeah. we haven't, we haven't, I know that. Oh, Simon. I've got, yeah. Do, do you know, you know Simon? Simon Cow is not a Malaga. No, he's not a Malaga. No. He's a good guy. Do you know when he changed a lot? When he changed a lot is when he had his son. Yeah. You could, you, you, like, because he was I always. I think that happens to a lot of people, yeah, you know, 100%. which is great. When he had his son, he really I need to have a son or softened up. He not <laughs> softened up. What's the word like? Are you not having these weird little. He needs the fucking woman first before he can Don't have a son. Don't be jealous that your dad loves me more than you. Probably. <laughs> 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 but no, he's, um, yeah, man, you see the change in him and. And he, they're all cool, isn't it? Amanda's a fucking. You know, at brilliant. the end of the day, yeah, Britain's got lovely. talent and whatever would not be. What it is without no. the Simon Cow? Yeah, with, without yeah, yeah. British but, TV wouldn't be what yeah. it is without Simon. He changed it a lot, man. He but did, the music did. industry wouldn't be what it is. No, That's no. what people forget. He's, Bearing in mind, Justin I'm not, Bieber, right? No, uh, no, One Direction and Justin Bieber. No, no, not no, Justin Bieber. No, I don't Bieber. think Justin. Bieber. I think he found Justin Bieber yes, on YouTube. No, that was, was Usher. That was Usher. Usher found him. Usher found Justin. Did he? Yeah, yeah. I swear. No, hundred percent. Really? But. People say, oh, why do you have to why do you have to be like thing? Bro, forget that. If you do something in your life to the level of what he's done, I will give you so much respect. Yeah. So yeah. much respect. If you're a prick, I'll call you a prick. Yeah. But if you're a nice guy who and you've done something in your life, like and he makes you feel we've met a lot of people. And yeah. I met someone with you 
and I had to explain to you as to yeah. what happened. Yeah, no, you gave me a look and then I was just like, oh shit. I gave him a look and he knows the look. You know how you give me a look mm. and he know he knew the fucking look. We meet people, when they talk to you, they fucking talk through you. They talk, they're they not, couldn't, not, give, yeah, a they couldn't give a shit. If the camera's over there and you were on fire, they'd step over they'd, you. Some yeah. people. Yeah, he gave me a look and I was like, oh shit, I fucked yeah, up. He knew and, some, and some people, some people, like the worst thing in the world is, if you're going to give me your two minutes you, to talk to me, just give me those two minutes. You bro. know, you know, Robbie Williams, fucking yeah. one yeah. of the best key. And I will remember that. Like yeah. we were saying, I will remember that for the rest of my life. When we was at the Royal Variety, dad went lags. And I turned around, Robbie was like, hello, hello mate. I was like, hi, hi, Mr. Williams. Like, you know what I mean? Like, fucking Robbie Williams, bro. Yeah. He was like, listen, you listen to your dad. You do well in school. Yeah. And after that, do whatever the fuck you want to do. But be a good kid. And I was like, okay. Like, and he spoke to dad. And then you went and done drugs. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, allegedly. Robbie Williams. Allegedly. Robbie Williams. Bumpy, allegedly. He's done some drugs. <laughs> Can but I, like, but Nicole? Wait, Nicole? We never met. She was. We met Nicole, but she wasn't oh. on the show. Oh. Alicia, <laughs> you like it. And what was Alicia, the other one? Yeah, that Alicia, I'm going to beat, beat up her boyfriend or her husband. Amanda. Yeah. Amanda. Yeah. Yeah. Amanda. Come Amanda's she's, lovely, man. She's, Amanda's brilliant. So she's so funny. She's she's just always been nice for us. She could have danced we, at the we, wedding, we, but she didn't come. No, nah, her daughter. To be fair, she said on radio, "Like I'm really sorry, I couldn't yeah. make it to the wedding, but my daughter was starting school." And I would have grinded on. <laughs> from her husband is six. That's foot what I'm three. saying. I'm banging black hair. I had a boxing match. What? Yeah, no, he fucking come at you, yeah, he probably he probably hit you with a. You want to fucking dick? <laughs> put some fucking platform shoes yeah, on yeah, and yeah. fucking reach up. But like, be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good looking. You was gonna say about someone else? No, I was gonna say one last thing about Amanda. Like. Um, we went, she makes you feel special. Yeah. And Every those single people time, yeah. like she, even when dad got rid of his electrical company, yeah. she would be like, Stavros has an electrical company. Anyone who wants to yeah, go yeah, to yeah. Fucking hell. Fuck? She like, would promote yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Like she but like, was one, one, she's like, one of the noise. Yeah, 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 I'm I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> but, um, I used to take pictures when people come out the sea. I used to take pictures of their fish. Get their fish, put a mask on, get the spear gun because I can't yeah. catch fuck all. <laughs> I used to take pictures and send, and I took this picture with this big fucking tuna and my spear gun. I didn't catch the fucker. Yeah. And straight away, she went it. She was he on the radio. Have you you're, seen... you're on his WhatsApp list now. Yeah. Like he Have you his... seen the fish that Stavros was Yeah, on the radio. Oh, fuck all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He called fuck all. He called fuck all. But, um, I'm sure the stuff he sent me is not going. Mean, no, the stuff he sends you is not what he sends yeah. to Amanda. Oh, no. <laughs> but the, <laughs> the one thing I will say, even like we went to Amanda asked us to go and dance at um at her daughter's school's presentation night or something. So we said, of course we'll fucking go, we'll go. And I brought Neeks with me. And um and we went and and we finished dancing and she tried to give us money yet. And listen, we're not taking money off of fucking Amanda no. Holden for all the shit she's done. Neeks was stood there, she got the money and went like that <laughs> and put it in Neeks's top, and I was like, it's happening! It's happening! <laughs> I was like, oh shit! Like, and Nick's looked at me and I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> Oh shit, man. But like, oh, she, she's fucking brilliant, man. Like, she, And then, but yeah, but Rod, another one, best guy, and one Rod of the Stewart. best guys, Rod Stewart, you know what I was going to say. Lovely Rod guy. Stewart, one of the best guys we've ever met, ever met. He was in his Rolls Royce Phantom outside the Royal, uh, the Royal Variety at the Apollo and dad was walking with his sandwich and he's gone, hey, fatty, like that. <laughs> and dad's turned around. It's Rod Stewart out of the sunroof of his phantom going, I fucking love you, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And he was like, he was like, you're call, the, he was like, you're the bollocks. So he said something like that. He went, have a good one, bruv. And he went that and dad was like, what fuck the fuck? Like, you know? How the fuck does he know who I am? That's, that's weird, strange. Fuck you, yeah, you both should be very proud of you, so I just want to say Oh, that. fuck no, you. Fuck no, you. no, I don't want to be cheesy or anything, but like... Oh, 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 fuck get, yourself. Get, you know, get your tongue around that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, especially like everything that you said as well, like how your family's still close together. Yeah, you're still yeah, showing, honestly. You know, a lot of people... Listen, my mum is a fucking nutcase, yeah? yeah? She is a lunatic. The best lunatic you ever meet in your life. She's a and, and fucking... And listen, we, I've got to give it Ellie and... Karen, both of them. Mate, my sister. Karen they they put up with Karen, a lot. No, no, don't say that. She, <laughs> they put Tottenham, up with a lot. And, and we <laughs> don't forget every special thing we did, we went together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as a family. And my so, sister, my sister, when, like my sister, like two, obviously my mum, my sister, when when we done the, the, the semi-final, the when we finished, 
but there was all paparazzi outside and I just wanted to go get some food, bruv. She's There's a you. picture of my sister grabbing my... I've got it on the team. Pushing, the picture. pushing camera yeah, people yeah, out yeah. of the way. Like, sh- walking through, like, move, move. Like, she, <laughs> like, and I was like, oh, good. <laughs> I, got I got it. It's a newspaper shot. Yeah. I got it. I got it. But like, and, and the one thing, my missus as well, obviously now I do this, yeah. my missus holding down two kids. Like, she's working. She, she's doing everything she can. Like, she's... You need strong women when you're in this industry, bro, 100%. And you'll find out one but day. Because you you'll have a you... geezer that will love you very <laughs> much. <laughs> <laughs> My like, I did next question. <laughs> Jesus. <Yeah. laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. You know the blue makes him look more red. <laughs> <laughs> Put the watermelon behind him. I'll blend in. <laughs> oh, All right. Where... Where was the where was your most like favorite country you've been to and performed? And follow up question after this, most embarrassing. So best China. To embarrassed. Love China. And why did you yeah. like China? Um, one why did one you like why? fake watches? Oh no, not the fake watches. <laughs> <laughs> who even oh, got you to go the to the buffet? Who even got you Some to go Irish to China? Some Irish geezer, man. Just keep an booking. Irish geezer booked you in Bro, China. For the Irish Shanghai. Ball. Yeah, don't forget in That's Ireland. That's the thing. Yeah, but in Ireland, in um, in a lot China, of banking people, a lot of bank investment bankers and stuff like, that. and they've got their own communities. Yeah, yeah, where you go in, there's restaurants, there's driving ranges, there's golf courses, there's yeah. like, there's everything, schools. So all that's in this. why it was. So why did you enjoy China a lot more? <laughs> because we've had this fucking debate, and he won't okay. listen to me. All oh, right, first class is the bollocks. He's going first class anywhere. It's just. Something you know, why was it so good? What I, was, I believe what, in two what? things, yeah. One, you should never buy your dream stuff because then you won't have something to look forward to. But number two, once you've done your dream stuff and you don't do it anymore, it's always a great memory. So, those two things contradict themselves, yeah. yeah? But doing first class and have and telling other people, fuck me, I did this first class thing. It's an experience. What the fuck are you going to do with that money? Tell me what you're doing with that money. No, no. Oh, if so you you're don't, asking me about yeah, when so, I go so, to so Australia. Let's say you don't so, spend that money on that ticket first class. What will you do with that chunk of money? Just tell me what you'll do with it. I have a good excuse for that. Go on. So what are you going to do with it? I'm using it for internal flights. What, so, so by the way, I'm going you to wanted, Australia yeah. and these guys are attacking me I'm not because attacking. I won't I spend... Where have we attacked? You want to see five, a tank? I want a tank, you fucking idiot. I won't, I won't <laughs> spend... <laughs> I won't spend 5,000... 5,500 right. on business class. Right, hang said, on, hang on. I'm, you didn't I'm, say my, that. He said you were going to go and buy a fucking car. Are you going to buy a car with the fucking extra money? Is that what you're doing? No, I'm using it for internal flights. Right, so he has wait, to wait, fucking wait, have wait, the internal flights. Wait, wait, wait. Would you have done the internal flights anyway? Yeah. Right. So, hold on, so hold that's on. an irrelevant question. No, 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 wait a minute. Stop did this. you pay for China? Hang on one did second. You, one minute. Did you guys pay for the Chinese no, flight? Yeah, we did. Yeah, because we, did. we danced for her for nothing and she upgraded yeah, us. Yeah. So listen to me one second. So indirectly. Are you, indirect. If you don't spend that money on the first class ticket, what are you doing with that money? You said buy internal flights. You're buying internal flights and accommodate anyway. And anyway. Right. So you're, what's you're gonna happen? Places how anyway. much? And he's not gonna well, go to the rich. Right. So saving. how much more money is that? We looked one way to come back. It would have cost him three and a half grand. Right. So how much is it? The normal ticket anyway. Uh, my, my ticket now is fifteen hundred. And, and so you're a, only talking another fifteen hundred quid. Is that what you're talking about? No, it'd no. be another two 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 thousand three hundred. All right, two thousand three hundred. That's what you're talking about. So 2,300, what the fuck are you going to do with 2,300? Tell me what you're going to do with that money. Um, future wife's... Uh, oh, fuck off, yeah, Peter. See what I mean? Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Tell me what you're doing with that money. 2,300, well, what are you doing with that money? To, to lay down on a plane. To lay down what? Care. You're not... 2,300 get on you a plane. fuck all. To lay down on a plane. Yes, the experience is fucking amazing. Not if, you you were, if you were talking about 20 I'm grand... Small. And you even said it Okay, let me ask you a question. I'm so sure. Question. Every, even normal class is 100%, first class 100%, 100%, 100%. I've got but, every channel. But, let me ask you a question. And I this said isn't this about to, me, yeah? It is about you because you're fucking singunis, bro. I'm not. What two and a half grand was, yeah, is what not singuni. What are you going to do with the two and a half grand? Save it. And Save what? what? Sit in the fucking bank. You don't get no interest. Don't rake you no day. money. 
Oh, fuck off. So what I said to him was, yeah, he says he drinks a little bit, but he said, I don't want to drink no more. Bruv, you're going to go first class, yeah? All your shit's free. Anything you want is free, yeah? You're going to walk to the bar, the but private bar. But what if you don't bar. want anything? Well, but then you're... Then but it's then, a waste. But then, okay, but then there's no point so, having a so conversation. So what did you do? Hang on a minute. <laughs> don't go first class. It's wasted on yeah, the fucker. Leave him alone. Yeah, yeah. Sit in the fucking toilet if all <laughs> I give a shit and fucking go in there. One minute, okay. Sit. Do you know, know what? On your first... Pack yourself in a fucking hand luggage <laughs> and go through the fucking what hole. Did you tell him For to all do? I give well, a fuck. I like might as well pack a yeah. fucking pack. If you're lunch. not going to appreciate it, and you. What? I won't appreciate but it. You, but you said, he told me you were going to buy a nice car. So you appreciate the nicer I was, things I in life. I didn't say I was going to buy a nice car. I, was, I said nice I was going to buy a car that is more economical. Because my, <laughs> <laughs> my car drinks. Give up, mate. My car drinks. I'm going to put this on the record here. Just fucking give up. He's wasted on him. <laughs> when Bella, you was on your first go class. Don't fucking. They, do you not what, go to nice restaurants? Do you just go to. No, go nice restaurants. So you do treat yourself in, every now and then. Yeah, but I don't go spend five grand on a nice Pete, buffet. Pete, you're 36 years old on your fucking own. You've got no kids, no wife to worry about. You should be a fucking multi millionaire, you piece of shit. <laughs> Instead, you're worrying about know, two and a half fucking grand. I don't know. Wait till you've got kids and a mortgage and fucking bills coming out. Your wife wants a fucking new handbag. That's when you got problems, not that's fucking when, two and a half grand. That's so when I'm new. so happy. It's that's happening. when you wish you had to spare ten grand. What for? So you can spend it on your wife's exactly. handbag. Exactly. Go and get yourself a fucking handbag. I'll get you a full stack of if you fucking did save <laughs> Maybe if you save that money. Maybe if you save that money. Save it! Maybe save if you it, save that money. It, fucking do what you want with it. You maybe if you save that money and used it, you'd still have had it. Yeah, hair. yeah, yeah. Peter, listen. I told what you're you, using it on. Listen, you're, so, no, so, come on, let's be honest. honest I'll be now. honest it's, with you. It's two and a half Two grand. and a half thousand, you're going to save and use on what? You just said you're going to put it in no, a bank. No, but it's like a backup. If I'm going to Australia for two and a half months, it's nice to have money behind me to secure me no, to make sure everything he said there. if you had it left over come back in first class yeah. that's you, what he said if you had it which you're gonna fucking it, okay, spunk okay, it listen, on if, yourself if good it, luck to you I if agree if I have it extra yeah before coming back yeah I promise you I'll think about it is there like is there like is there like, is there like okay class is that like no, an in between? Yeah, like, don't, listen to me. Me. don't do it. Economy. If you go out there and you have money spare, this you have a you job. Podcast, listen to me. me. <laughs> you have a job. You have a podcast. You have all the things you want. You're not starving. You're not fucking hungry. You're going to dump it in a bank and sit there. Fucking spend it on or yourself. Good on luck crypto. to you. Oh, yeah, or, crypto. Do it on fucking Bitcoin. You, yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, we Bitcoin. Like <laughs> no, do it on Bitcoin. You'd rather do it, gamble it away, than treat yourself Then throw same. it away. It's not throwing it. It's not throwing it. It's not this throwing is what you don't it, understand. Listen, okay, let me ask you a question. For me, for me, honestly, it's you're spending extra money. You know what you're going to do? It's extra money to I sit on a it. bigger chair. But he's it's not, not. That's what listen, it is for me. Listen, listen, listen. It's not. He's not the coin that's going to enjoy it. I won't. So you have to give that in. No, to he will. Him. I don't I care. Won't. He will. I won't. He won't. There's no way. He you... won't because you'll be thinking about the two and a half grand. No, you but no, but also I don't care. I agree with him now. If 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 he's not that guy. If he's not, not that, guy. that guy, then he won't enjoy This it. is the guy. Wait a second. Let's go back to this. That's a really this nice. Is, this one is. One sec. That's a really nice t shirt you're wearing. Yeah. Right. Who made him and buy I that get t shirt? Me. I get to keep that's this. That's what I'm saying. And look, how he's, and, and look how happy he is. No. But that's but, not that guy. That takes time. You, don't, you can't just go from a t shirt. Can I just say one thing? To a first yes. class. Yeah, can I say one thing? Go on. If I had to wear, if I could buy this and only had to wear it once, I wouldn't buy it. Okay, let me know. Forget, forget once. Forget once. What do you value in life? Do you value experiences in life over no, any material? Over material. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to throw sign at him. Shut eh, the fuck eh, up. Eh, eh, no. Don't get upset. Don't get fucking angry. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, he's on my side. Bro, in life, in life, you value over materialistic things, you value experiences, yes? Yeah. Right, experiences sometimes cost money, right? You can't go to fucking. To Hang Malaysia, on a you're the one that's saying you want to go Asia, you want to do this, you want to travel a bit. Is this an experience? It's an experience. I've been, no, I've been but, to India. No, so been why to you go to you're India? saying no, but you're saying oh, ages, 2013. But you're saying in life you value experiences are above material things. Yeah, forget the material. I'll go sit side. in a chair for Hang ten minutes. Minute. Hang on, on one minute. Do you know how many years ago he flew first class? How many years ago? How many years ago? 
but must have been. And you didn't even pay for it. 13, 12, 13 years ago. And he's still talking about it. I'm I'm still didn't talking about it. But I'm still talking about it. Yeah, but he's still it. talking about it. Pay for it now. No, no, hang on. I would. Tell him a lie. We did fucking pay for it. Yeah, yeah, we did. Solution back. Yeah, yeah, we, we did. did we did. We did pay for it. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't tell you how much. We paid six and two grand each. Four of us. Fucking eight grand. Don't tell me we didn't pay for it. We 2,000 paid for it. each? Yeah, four of us. One way. Me. So it was only 2,000 euros. One way. One way. No, no, we'd already paid for the frights. It yeah, was yeah, an it extra, was extra two grand each. It was an extra two grand each. From St. Lucia. Bro, you know what? Karen, Ellie. And you know okay. why? Can Look, I one know? sec. Let me show you something. Look at these flip flops, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at these flip flops. I yeah. don't care. There's no tread. There's no <laughs> tread. But. But yeah, I don't give a but shit. But went on first class. But if it, if it, <laughs> no, I want to give it to them now. I don't give a shit yeah. anymore. I couldn't give a fuck. If you had, like I said to you before, last thing I'm gonna say: if you had kids and you had things, you had plans, you want to give it to them right now in your life. Two, two and a half grand. It's not gonna. You, you'll still be able to eat and you'll still be able to enjoy your life and you'll fucking have a good experience. I said to him: if you if you book it and you don't like it, I'll give you the fucking money back. Because you know how I know he's not that much good of, good of an actor. He wouldn't be able to lie. Because no. some part of it would be like. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, like I know, but no, but if right. I get on something like that, I have to take full advantage. I'll get so do pissed. It. I'll eat do all it. the food. Do it. And when and you land, they'll be like, Mr. Peter, how was your flight? flight? That's what the whole thing's about, you fucking idiot. Do it. That's what exactly what it's Peter, about. When you land, think, go when fund you me land. or something. Yeah. Bruv, when you land and you're pissed and you've had fucking steak, flaming yarn, and you've had this, yeah. and the woman says, Don't worry if you're if you're drunk, just uh, go that way, bypass He's all right, the security, man. pick up your bags and you can go, no problem. It's the bollocks, bruv. And you're never going to change my mind this. And I'm telling you, please do it once in your life. Anyone, anyone who's listening, right. do it once in your life. Put a poll up. We're going to put a poll up saying... And, but it has to be a flight worthwhile. 16, yeah. 16 hours. No, this time that, it's nine. That, you... No, it's not. Nine hours. How's it nine hours? No, it's four hours to to Doha and then Doha to but you're Perth gonna get is nine hours. Right, so you're going to get the You're going to get nine hours, lot. bro. And you're yeah. going to get the full... I'm going to give you first, first cars the first, for the first yeah, bit. Yeah, right. well, it's so a separate... You have to pay for the same... Two planes. Yeah, but you, it's one, one ticket. Than the it's other. one ticket. Yeah. Yeah, so mm. you pay for first class. They're going to put you in nine business hours class. Nine is nine fucking no, hours. No, forget that. He's right. You're going to put you in business class for the first yeah, flight and then first class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth it, bro. I'm telling you. Well, let's put a poll up now. Should Peter or should anyone fly business class if they can one time in their life? I want people to tell me if yes or no. Do you know what? Think about this as well. There's certain things you're going to do now that you won't be able to do when you've got kids, wife and everything. 100%. So think let's, about let's that. Let's be honest. Do you think that's really happening? It's <laughs> <Yeah>, true. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Save your money, bro. All you. right. <laughs> you know? yeah. I've got a couple more questions. Even though that one got attacked on me again. <laughs> um, How long is this podcast, man? It might go to two parts. Yeah, yeah. Two hours each. Yeah, we're going to see. Yeah, yeah. Gonna see. Ha, ha. Um, I want to know if there was... Was there an embarrassing moment, an embarrassing show? If there wasn't, no, we can there, move on. There was a few times. More embarrassing because... More embarrassing moment was when I was a kid, there was a school disco, and I did this. <laughs> I was talking more about the stuff I was thinking. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Or, and another was embarrassing it time, it was my brother's birthday. I'm five years older than my brother. I walked in the room. And you know that thing you do when you, you lay on the floor in hip-hop, and they do the... Yeah, he looked like I had an epileptic fit. <laughs> <laughs> I meant Stavros Flatley. Two and oh. <laughs> Just had a lifetime of fuck-ups. Yeah, right, we, 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 we'll cut um, that out and I'll... Do you want no, to, I have don't you got mind. One? Have you got one? Yeah, but I can't tell it. I, we I wish well, I could. I told you before, we danced this for six... This person's going to hear it, so I can't tell it. We, I think, thought, we danced for six geezers and six guys who won Cheltenham. Who won at Cheltenham? There were six people in the room. We run in. It was the you music. Said this one already. The music. That oh, was fucking the amount of times that that people look at me and I go, "You want a picture?" And they go, "No." Yeah. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, do you know? Yeah, that so, does this thing now where he looks at me and goes, yeah. "Do you know?" What? <laughs> he goes. They look at me and goes, "Yeah." Do you know? Like, one person. <laughs> do you know what someone done to me once? They were like, they said, "The uh, can you take a picture?" And I went, "Yeah, Ella." And I went like that on them, and they go, "Oh no, of us." Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh." Too. And I got the phone, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, Ugh. All right. To really end this off nicely, I've got two more questions, which you don't have to go into go too on. much detail. <laughs> no, you do. I got two things I got to mention. All right. We'll end it off, and then we'll do them at the end. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Right. If we could give a message to your younger self, what would it be? And look into oh, that fuck. camera. Oh, I'm not going to do it like that. Yeah. <sighs> And into them, onto the mic. I don't know if it's too much. This is too much. No, honestly, man, look, that means you have regrets. 
Doesn't no, that mean you'd have a regret? It does, though. No, I think, think more like more like something more in like your... What? What I, would... I know what I'd tell your younger self. I know what I'd tell your younger self. What would self. you tell your dad's younger I self? I would tell my dad's younger self, fucking learn how to say no sometimes. Yeah. And learn how to say no sometimes. But, and, and fucking stand up for yourself. That's yeah. one thing I'd tell you. I, I know one thing from this story as well. Learn a fucking beat. Of music, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I took out music. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, no, okay, I've got fucking more, more or less. Uh, fucking hell! If anyone go now that he, he, when they were kids, if anyone went for, like said anything bad, I was bad. But now, if anyone says anything against my grandkids, fuck me, Gee, mate. The Lose other day, the other day, Xenia was being a little shit. Yeah, <laughs> she was being a little shit, and I said, "Dad, turn around because I'm gonna grab by the hand and I'm gonna tell her off." Don't you fucking do that in front no, of me. Do you understand? Uh, uh, <laughs> he yeah, lost it, yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, and right. if anyone was to... So I suppose that's a, a more or less tolerant. But I don't think there's anything, man. I Honestly, think that's with age you become yeah. less tolerant of things. All right, anyway. well, don't do that at the school disco. <laughs> <laughs> with the, Stephen Simons, his name was. Stephen Simons, never forget him. And, and, and we fucking... I thought I was the bollocks. That's one of the mum. I look back on that one and I cringe. I look back at the birthday one where I'm doing that. And I tried to do the running thing. You know where you put your When arm? you run and run yeah, in a yeah, circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. Go on. Would you do it all again if you could go back? Fucking thousand times over. Honestly, thousand times over. Wouldn't change a fucking thing. Uh, uh, sorry, we would have made more money if we were clever and realised how big it was going to get. But I never would have changed a thing. I'd rather it stay that way because it was more of a surprise. Yeah. Fucking thing I'm mo most surprised about is 16 years on, still get asked to do shit. And and the amount... Last year I raised two grand just having pictures on the beach for charity, just for people dropping money. And I fucking... That's 16 years where people still excited to see you. And even when we go and do shows now and even the shows that we're asked to do and we can't do because we've got other shows or, or doing something else... Fucking hell, people still trying to book. No, I wouldn't change a fucking thing. And I, I would, I do also want to say, personally, like, because obviously I watched you guys before I was even doing anything. You guys really did put Cypress on the map. Yeah, but... I, I really did. that's a touchy fucking... I don't, I don't care. Anyone can touch it. Because you know? if you were in... In, 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 in England has no MBEs or fucking anything like that. I think sometimes we did things and we were proud... To do things, a lot of people. I think we knew that we weren't. You can't advertise Cyprus officially with two little fat guys. Yeah, I get it. You can't say, "Oh, come to this beautiful island." Oh, by the way, there's two little fat guys, one with a Cyprus tattoo. Well, you could. It shows that you've got good you food. You can, but there's no, there's no, there's no, there's higher people above. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say one stuff. thing. I'm gonna say one thing. Right, I, but, but. As far as the love we got from this island and what we did and the people still come and is Sibidiria, what's that? Silibidiria. Like, Silibidiria's yeah. congratulations. No, that's um, Siharidiria. Siharidiria. Yeah? Yeah. What's well, Silibidiria? What's the other C one? Silibidiria. All right, well, the other one. <laughs> yeah, don't get, don't, don't get yeah. them confused. The amount of times that we got told that when I first got here, my, my, my Greek fucking awful. I got, but it was coming from village Greek from my granny and granny. But that... That makes me proud. And that I never did anything to to, to make us name. controversial yeah. or to fuck up what we did. Yeah. I'm proud of that. Whether the government or whoever was in power recognised that. We were meant to meet the president of Cyprus once and we couldn't make it. But there was, there was times where we were meant to meet this person or that person. And there was one person at the Cyprus Tourist Board that loved us to bits. Lily, I've got to mention her. She, she fucking loved us to bits. But... I'm going to say one thing. We'll always go down. I'm going to say one thing. I'm going to take a bit of credit. We did put Cyprus on the map. You did as well. Good for you. you and you have you as well. You, you did. Say that. Oh. <laughs> anyway, can no, I just did. say, uh, fuck it, you know, man, I've got to say, sorry. Uh, liver and Kiri. Liver? Liver. What's he liver? bet me I would never say liver in a sentence, but fuck, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to bring liver in. And Kiri. Can you put? Can you keep that bit in? Just what? so that he's the... Geezer who owns the Woodman and Olive got that we one went, in there, didn't yeah. I? Yeah! <laughs> Free meal! 
all for us. <laughs> Woodman and Olive. We went to the Woodman and Olive. Oh, oh yeah, you we went. Yeah, yeah, you get another free meal now. Yeah. Yeah. Just slip that one in. <laughs> <laughs> he only does shit for food. That's the only <laughs> fucking right and yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Have we mentioned oh. everyone I think and we've everything? Done everything? Good for you. I will see you in a year's time, my friends. Let's, do you want to put, that, do you wanna put the wig on? Put it, and... Do whatever you want. Put <laughs> it in this, the fucking diary. This is diary. episode 8.5, realistically that, yeah. episode 9. This is and episode maybe episode nine. 10. And say, look at the camera and we'll say, so sugar now. is bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? What's the one? It's full of flavour! Full of flavour! Oh, don't be silly. Fuck me. I'll do it anytime you want. And try, put, please, next time, you two try and get a bit taller. There is Stephen. <laughs> and you stopped it. Oh, do me this bye. thing. Do me this thing. Do me this thing. Just say, follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> follow the yellow brick road. With that voice. What's that? That's the fucking we wizard of the We are the munchkin man. <laughs> munchkin man. I'm taller than you. <laughs> listen. listen. Are you fucked? Oh, fuck. It's all gone to shit again. <laughs> listen. Um, this is possibly episode nine. This and is epi episode nine. Possibly episode ten. Mm, and fucking ten. too long but for what one. I'll say is, and eleven. <laughs> and eleven. But what I'll say is, when we hit episode fifty or a hundred, we'll yeah. get this yeah. fucking game. Oh back fucking! I've got so many more stories. Yeah, we oh, we can't wait to hear, guys. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed so much. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, we're off to see the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> the wizard of Oz. <laughs> Bye, guys. We're off to the wizard of Oz because of the wonderful things he's done.